2022 was another turbulent year marked by economic uncertainty, the ongoing COVID pandemic, and the biggest European conflict since the Second World War. Those stories and many more dominate the headlines from this past year. This was the third year of the COVID pandemic. 300 million cases reported worldwide by early January. That number more than doubling by December. Mostly driven by a new strain called Omicron, which became dominant in the U.S. in late March. The numbers started falling over the summer, but now we're seeing the start of another possible surge, which is combining with flu and RSV to create a so-called triple-demic, threatening to overwhelm America's health care system once again. Russia sending troops over the border into neighboring Ukraine in an all-out invasion. Vladimir Putin listing various justifications for the war, including that Ukraine was threatening Russia and it was being governed by, quote, Nazis. But Moscow severely underestimated the Ukrainian military. They were able to stop the Russian advance toward Kyiv, eventually pushing the Russians back to positions in the far east and south. Now Ukraine is on the offensive, bolstered by military aid from more than a dozen countries including the U.S., which has spent more than $60 billion arming the Ukrainians. The war having major economic consequences around the world. It helped fuel the worst inflation crisis in decades here in the U.S., with the cost of goods and services skyrocketing throughout the year as wages remain largely stagnant. The Federal Reserve aggressively raising interest rates, hoping to cool down the economy and relieve some of that inflationary pressure. In May, a major tragedy hitting a small Texas town. A gunman killing 19 students and two teachers at the Robb Elementary School in Uvalde. It was the third deadliest school shooting in American history. In the aftermath, it was revealed local law enforcement were on the scene for more than an hour, but did not confront the shooter until members of the U.S. Border Patrol Tactical Unit arrived. Perhaps the most consequential Supreme Court ruling in decades, creating significant political upheaval. The court's new conservative majority ruling in June that abortion access is not a nationwide right overturning the Roe v. Wade precedent and prompting abortion bans in more than a dozen states. 2022 also marked by multiple investigations into the former president, Donald Trump. Perhaps the most significant, the congressional January 6th committee, which kicked off televised public hearings with the goal of finding out what led to the attack on the Capitol and who was to blame. We believe that this evidence we set forth in our report is more than sufficient for a criminal referral of former President Donald J. Trump and others. Those legal troubles escalating in August with the raid on Trump's private residence at Mar-a-Lago. Hundreds of documents were seized, many marked top secret. The former president saying he declassified them, but there's no record of that, possibly exposing him to charges of violating the Presidential Records Act. The end of an era. Queen Elizabeth II passing away at the age of 96. Her son Charles becoming King Charles III after spending more than 64 years as heir to the throne. A pair of hurricanes causing big problems in September. First up was Hurricane Fiona, bringing major flooding to Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic before heading north. It hit Canada as a powerful cyclone, packing 100 mile an hour winds and causing widespread damage. Only two weeks later, Hurricane Ian slamming in the Florida's Gulf Coast. It was the deadliest hurricane to hit the state in more than 80 years. Officials there say that it could take years for some coastal communities to get back on their feet. The tech world thrown into turmoil in late October after Elon Musk completed his $44 billion takeover of Twitter. Musk immediately firing thousands of employees as he warned about the company's financial situation. We elected a new Congress in 2022, the midterms resulting in the House flipping control to the Republicans. But there was no red wave as anticipated, with Democrats actually gaining a seat in the Senate. And Republicans only winning a slim majority in the House. The year ending with a bang, literally.
Mauna Loa, the world's largest active volcano, roaring back to life after lying dormant for almost four decades. Tourists and native Hawaiians flocking to Volcanoes National Park to get up close and personal with the eruption. Now looking ahead to 2023. Expect COVID in Ukraine to dominate the headlines. And we're also keeping a close eye on Congress and whether or not Kevin McCarthy will have enough support to become the next Speaker of the House. And of course, we will be here for all of it. Until then, in New York, Bill Hemmer, Fox News.